Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to show you how to make corn tortillas. Now many of us need corn tortillas at one time or another. And there we go, running off to the grocery store to go get them. It's always good to know how to make them at home because nothing beats homemade. And today I'm going to show you how to make them step by step. Let's get started. So I've got all my ingredients here to make my tortillas. Now today I'm going to be using Maseca Nixta Masa. It's the one that comes in the gold bag. Now Maseca also makes it in a white bag like this. Now this is a white corn and this is the light yellow corn. I've done it with both and they come out delicious. Now I'm going to need one and a half cups, not hard packed, okay? There's one cup and I've got the half measuring cup over here. And I'm going to use a little salt, maybe about a fourth of a teaspoon or a little less. You can put as much as you want, but I do like to put a little salt because of the flavor. And one and a fourth cups of warm water, kind of like a baby's bottle like that. So I'm going to start making my dough. Now I'm going to mix the salt in pretty good like this. You want to distribute it well in here. Now I'm going to add my water a little bit at a time. And I'm going to start bringing it in together. And take your time when you're doing this. It only takes a few minutes. Now this masa is gluten free. And that's a good thing because I know many of us want to stay away from gluten as much as we can. And that's a good thing with this masa. And here's the last of my water. And I'm going to continue to knead it until it's very hydrated. Now if you feel that it needs a little bit more because it feels a little dry, you can add one teaspoon at a time, slowly. My masa is just perfect. It's away from the walls and away from my hand. See, look at this. Nice and damp, but not wet and not dry. So now I'm gonna wrap it up. I've got some saran wrap right here. I'm gonna wrap it up real good and I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes because you want it to get really hydrated, real nice like this. And then we'll be back to make our tortillas. Now I'm ready to make my tortillas. You're gonna need a tortilla press, like this one. If you don't have one, you can order it through Amazon and it'll last you forever. And you're gonna need two pieces of plastic. This was a Ziploc bag. I cut it up into two pieces like this, round, a little bigger than a tortilla. And then you need a container in which to put your tortillas in. You can put them in a basket like I'm gonna do in here or you can just put them in between a towel. Now, many of you have asked me where I got these baskets. These are Lagerberger baskets and they were made here in Ohio. This is the one I use when I make my corn tortillas because it's smaller and round. And this is the one I use when I make flour tortillas because it's bigger, see? I have a big collection of Lagerberger baskets and these have come in so handy for tortillas. Now here's my masa. It's been sitting out for about 30 minutes and it's hydrated and it's perfect. Now I'm gonna make my little balls. Now when you make your little balls, you want them to be about the size of a golf ball, more or less. And don't worry about it if it's a little smaller or bigger than that, see? But you want it to look just like this, like a golf ball. And I usually make about seven to eight. If I make nine sometimes, that's fine. If it's seven, not a problem. Now you just wanna continue the process until you have all your little balls ready like this. See? So this is my last one. I was able to make eight, exactly eight. And it usually turns out like that. Now you wanna make sure that you always keep them covered because you don't want them to get dry on you. And then you can just pull one out as you need it. This would be a good time for you to heat up your griddle on the stove and make sure that it's nice and hot by the time you press your first tortilla. Now you're gonna get one piece of plastic and you're gonna put it right here on your tortilla press. And then get you one of your little balls and you're gonna put it right here and put the other piece of plastic on top. And then you're gonna press it down a little firm. And that's good, just like that. I usually turn it because it gets a little flatter on this side. And then I press it just a little bit like this, see? 
And then you peel off the top plastic and here is your tortilla, ready to go to the griddle. And here's another one. You put your little ball of masa, you push it down a little bit like that so it can stay stable. Put your plastic on top and then push it down a little firm. I usually turn it around and just push it a little bit like that. And here it is. Then you peel it off and here it is. Now we can take this to the griddle. Now I'm gonna be using this large griddle right here and my heat is above medium. You wanna make sure that it's nice and hot because this is gonna go quickly. When I put my tortilla like this, you're gonna start counting about 25 to 28 seconds before I flip it over to the other side. Now if your griddle is not hot enough, then this is gonna get very dehydrated and they're not going to be nice and soft and they probably won't puff up. So now we wait 25 to 28 seconds. Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm using a spatula because I don't wanna mess up my polish, but you can use your fingers if you want to. Now we wait 30 seconds, more or less, 30 seconds before we flip it over to the other side. And I'm gonna flip it over again. You're gonna see it start getting puffy, all on its own like that. See, now the steam inside is gonna cook the inside. See how pretty that looks? And here's another one. You wanna count 25 to 28 seconds. Now I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna count about 30 seconds before I flip it over again. So it's been about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna flip it over. And you wanna leave it alone. It's gonna start puffing up all on its own. If it doesn't puff up, don't worry about it. They're still gonna be delicious. And you wanna leave it there for about five to 10 seconds and then you wanna pull it out. So my tortillas are done. Here they are, eight of them, perfect and beautiful. Now you can make enchiladas with these, crispy tacos, you could make tostadas, anything you like. Look at how pretty they are and so soft and they smell beautiful. We love to have these with our breakfast Huevos rancheros, bacon and eggs, anything that you like, refried beans, you know. Now, if you don't use up all your masa, let's say you roll up two or three only, you can wrap it up in plastic and put it in your fridge and it'll last about two days. You can just moisten it up a little bit, knead it a little bit and roll out a few more. I'm gonna have mine with butter. Now I'm gonna add some tips below in the description box. Maybe a few things that I didn't mention to you so that you can make the perfect tortilla. Now it's time for the taste test. Mm. Oh my gosh. These are so good. I know you're gonna love them and you're gonna have fun making them. Now these are my homemade corn tortillas. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.